Hey there folks, in this video we're going to be comparing two numbers. We're given square root of 499 plus square root of 501 and two times the square root of 500. And the goal of the video is to find out which one is the larger one. But before I go on, consider subscribing and ring the bell to not miss my latest videos. So first of all, let's say this is x and this is y. So x is square root of 499 plus square root of 501, while y is two times square root of 500. So notice that we're dealing with square roots, so it might be a good idea to square both sides to get rid of some of the square roots. And actually, that's what I'm gonna do here in both of these two equations. So for the first one, I will have x squared equals 499 plus 501 plus two times a square root of 499 times 501. And for the second one, I will have y squared equals four times 500, which is simply 2000. So we basically have two equations, x squared equals, this is gonna be 1000, and notice that this product can be written as 500 minus one times 500 plus one. Therefore, this equals 500 squared minus one. So we have plus two times the square root of 500 squared minus one, and y squared is simply 2000. So basically, we need to use these two equations in order to compare x with y. And at this point, I would like to isolate this square root, and you will see why that is so important. And in order to do that, I need to subtract 1,000 from both sides. So x squared minus 1,000 equals two times the square root of 500 squared minus one. And then let's divide both sides by two. So x squared minus 1,000 divided by two equals square root of 500 squared minus one. Next, let's go ahead and do the same thing in the second equation because in that way we will be able to compare both sides of the equations. So let's subtract 1,000 and then let's divide both sides by two. So we get this equals 500. And notice that we can uh, replace 500 with square root of 500 squared. And because of this, I can say that it is obvious that 500 squared is a larger quantity than 500 squared minus one. Therefore, I can say that square root of 500 squared is greater than square root of 500 squared minus one. And if you look at this, you can see that this is the right-hand side of the second equation, and this is the right-hand side of the first equation. So since the right-hand side of the, the second equation is greater than the right-hand side of the first equation, we can say the same thing about the left-hand sides, right? So we can say that um, y squared minus 1,000 divided by two is greater than x squared minus 1,000 divided by two. So at this point, you might be able to guess which one is the larger one, but let's go ahead and solve it anyway. So let's multiply both sides by two. So we get y squared minus 1,000 is greater than x squared minus 1,000. And then let's add 1,000 to both sides to get y squared is greater than x squared. And then let's, uh, let's move x squared to the left hand side, y squared minus x squared is greater than zero. And obviously y squared minus x squared is a difference of two squares, so we can factor it as uh, y, minus, y minus x times uh, y plus x. And notice that uh, both y and x, as you can see here, are positive quantities. Therefore, their sum, which is this, is a positive quantity. So for this to be positive, y minus x has to be positive, and therefore, y must be greater than x. And that means that 
2 times square root of 500 is larger than square root of 499 plus square root of 501. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching this video. Please consider subscribing and smash the like button if you find this video helpful. Goodbye for now.